Hi to you, folks. This is Tom from anti-proton.com, and uh, ooh, it's getting a little dark outside. I thought I would give you a little bit of information. Um, I have taken all of my radiation readings from April 1st until June 15th and put them up on my webpage. As many of you know, I've been doing this for a long time, but now I have every single reading from from April 1st until June 15th, and most people know. I take daily readings, hourly readings, minute readings. I have a, a computer hooked up to my Geiger counter that spits off the readings every single minute. The format should be relatively easy for you to understand. Uh, it tells you the, the, the number of counts that have been in my long run, and it tells you the minute, the, and the hour, and the day. And then it also tells you um, the three most important things. That very moment, it tells you what the previous minute's counts per minute was. So you might have gotten 20 counts per minute one minute, 5 counts per minute the next, and so on. Then it tells you, the, the second number it tells you is the total number of counts you've had all the way. And then the third number it tells you is the average counts per minute, which is 14 for me. If ever you're looking at my data and you see any deviation from 14, then you know something's up. Maybe not much of anything, maybe a little bit, except I would like to point out that when the counts very first start, and as you're looking at the, the data, you'll notice right when they very first start, count number one, count number two, count number three, sometimes those can be a little weird and freaky for 10 or 15 counts, 10 or 15 minutes until they stabilize, because you got to give it some time to stabilize each time I run it. And I have to cut my machine off every now and then because of lightning and stuff, but it's all on there, maybe a couple hundred thousand readings. So you really want to know what the radiation looks like? You really want to know what kind of data's been coming through? There you go. I've kept my Geiger counter in the same place for all of this time, and uh, most of the time it's breathing outside of a window with a little plastic baggie on it to keep it from getting rain. Like right now, for example, if you go to radiationnetwork.com and you see the little circle in Virginia, that's me. But if you want to see my data, and you want to see my website, go to, and send the info for the video, go to anti dash proton.com and up at the very top on the left hand side there's a button that says like daily radiation readings or something to that effect click it underneath that I have all of the data I even have usually my most recent data I click a little button and just upload it now keep in mind that the data you see in the daily re most recent data will eventually get wrapped up into a 15 day chunk and you're seeing a bunch of 15 day chunks on there that I've put up I'm getting ready to uh, uh, pretty soon probably start putting cumulative data for uh, June as well. I already have the 1st through the 15th, but you get the point. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know it's all out there. You can go look at it yourself. And then as soon as I get my new Geiger counter, I'm going to uh, have my Geiger counter always running 24-7. I might even automate the process. I'm a computer scientist. I can automate the process and make it even better than it is now. I just don't have that set right now. I'll put it in the database and make it all searchable and all this other crap. Easy stuff to do. But for right now, all the data is there for you. You can go take a look at it if you want to and be interested. Oh, and for the conspiracy people out there, you can look at the data now and decide whether it's been faked or altered or whatnot. Because, you know, conspiracy people like to can accuse me of working for I was the government usually. But anyway, so have fun with it. Whether you want to see it for real reasons or you want to see it to prove that I'm evil, bad, or wrong or whatnot, have fun with it either way. This has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and see you later.